Yeah. Hi everybody, this is Nick Kutz here from Rain Music, and today we're going to be talking about guitar, acoustic guitar, in worship. Uh, it's a beautiful instrument for worship. Why? Because it combines a lot of the percussive sounds that, if you have a drummer, relate to the sound of the hi hat. So you've got a drummer that's going. And what this is here is, is there's a relationship forming between the acoustic guitar sound and the drummer, and that's forming the basis for the rhythm. So even before you actually add a chord to that, you've got. If I add a chord to that, I'm, I'm keeping my hand fairly kind of supple. Uh, Matt Redman, uh, back in the day when he was putting out a lot of music, Delirious, you often would hear the sound of the, the strings, your finger on the strings, and you hear the sound of the pick. And you use a, I'm, I'm using a, a Dunlop uh, 0.73 pick that I'm holding um, enough to keep it in my hands, but I'm not holding it too tight. Getting that kind of a feeling, it's, it's, it's fairly supple. So it's, and, that, and that's creating a bit of a groove. So if I'm playing a, a G chord, I'm actually also playing like a little bit of the the rhythm of what the drummer is doing. That's kick, snare, kick, snare. What that's doing is just creating rhythm for the song to actually breathe on. So if it, if it's a song that goes, I will worship you and the door. Notice when I went, you are, I actually used my, you are, I, I, I supported the rhythm of the words, and that's what creates the groove in a song. When you, if you're writing a song, it's the rhythm of the words that um, take, take a, a song like, uh, how great is how da, da, sing with me, how da, ba, da, da, is, so there's rhythm that's interacting with the melody of that of that song and that melody is generating a lot of royalties not because it's complicated it's generating interest in people because it is a song of the multitude chris wrote that song and he was able to bring in solid content into the verse and yet had a chorus that was very singable by many many cultures many people that's why it stood the test of time and is the number one song in the world at least um, along with a couple of others so he's a guitar player and I bet he probably wrote that song on his acoustic guitar in the simplicity of just doing just a rhythm like that and so that's why a guitar can be used in a praise and worship time without a band because it kind of has the bass tones treble tones it has rhythm it has everything that that a vocal needs to support it now you can add drums you could add bass you could add keyboard you could add violin you could add a whole orchestra and choir, but you don't need to. And it's the sound of the strings that also relates to the heartstrings of mankind longing to worship God. And so that's why I think acoustic guitar, the sound of a real acoustic guitar, is one of those fundamental sounds that I think is needed in praise and worship music. Whether you're doing R&B, whether you're doing a gospel sound, whether you're doing a kind of Bethel, Elevation Hill song kind of sound, or whether you're doing even traditional hymns. Like, um, Zing, sings my soul, my savior. What it's doing is just giving us a little bit of a trucking sound. So, now, could you go more traditional with an organ and a piano? Sure, you could. But if we want to relate to this next generation, we need to keep the songs that have stood the test of time, not throw them out, but bring them into a slightly more contemporary arrangement where we have a cool electric playing, still have some keys in there, but not make it real traditional, alienating um, a whole group of people. Because Asaph and his sons were on stage together, the chief musician David's army. It wasn't a replacement of the older generation with the new generation. They were together, and that's why we need the wisdom and the, the strength from the previous generation, but also they need to hold the hands up of the millennials who are bringing us, us into a beautiful new time of worship, 
where we have excellence in our church services with cool atmosphere, cool sound. At the same time, we do not want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. We want to make sure that we go on a journey in worship. So acoustic guitar is a very important instrument to be there. Sometimes the song could be piano driven and the acoustic guitar is playing a little bit more of a secondary role, which means you take out the mid range and the low end on the acoustic and it feels more like a, if you're doing like a, um, um, something like that, which, which is not changing a lot of chords, but the piano is doing all the chord changes. So the acoustic guitar could be more on the higher uh, range, whereas if the acoustic guitar is playing a lot of low end and the piano is playing a lot of the electric, so everybody's playing in that register, it gets cluttered in the mid-range. So that's why each, as each ligament does its work, as each part does its work, does its work, we, are, we come together and we, we form the beautiful fragrance of Christ because it's, it's not like you know, we have it all together, but together we have it all. God bless you.